Right, hello and welcome everybody back to the Flight Sim Fan video. Uh, I know it's been quite a bit since I've made a video. I've been busy with uh, work. But I just went to my channel the other day and saw I had more than 2,500 subscribers. And I was like, wow, that's kind of crazy. <laughs> and I didn't expect it to be that high. So I thought I'd make this video. Um, uh, yeah, I've been pretty much just busy with work and life and that kind of stuff. But I'm back for a little bit. And uh, today I thought I'd show you the uh, traffic add-on I found uh, through another link and I'll put the video description or put the link of the video in the description I found it from. Uh, it's called FSLTL and that's the traffic you're seeing now where that uh, plane just taxied away and it puts uh, plane traffic on the ground next to me and all around the airport and flying IFR, VFR and static on the ground. Uh, it's very easy to install and it's free um, and it works really well so I thought I'd go ahead and show you how to install it. I'm going to pause the sim for now. The first thing you're going to need to do is go to, if you just search up FSLTL, uh, you'll be brought to this page and you actually install it through the fly-by-wire installer. So if you already have that, just run an update. If, uh, if you already have the installer, at the top here it say update, it should be an orange. Uh, and then it would update the software. But if you don't have it, then right here. Uh, once you've updated, you're going to go to this section on the left here and press the kind of like radar bullseye looking symbol, FSLTL. And the first thing you're going to do is install the base model. So you press install. Uh, this is about three and a half gigs or so. Once this one's installed, you install the injector. So you press install on this guy. Um, and then once you're done with that, you'd come to General Options in your Microsoft Flight Sim, Traffic Settings, um, Air Traffic, sorry, Aircraft Traffic Type to Off. Um, you can set these as you like. I just have them actually more putting these down. I don't need this many boats and things. There we go. Um, and if you just pretty much copy my settings, you'll be fine. Uh, you, you generic aircraft AI have off. Uh, for models multiplayer, I have off. Uh, but the main one is the aircraft type. Uh, just make sure it's off. Apply and save. Okay, and then once you're done with that, you're going to bring up this window again. You're going to press start. Okay, you'll get a little command prompt. You can minimize that. And it says, want to change them? We don't want to change anything of the default models. So we just press N for no and enter. Injection started, minimize this. And let me make the weather better for you. I'll, I'll just turn on, actually, I'll turn on Rex weather because it's nice in Toronto anyways. So let me turn it on. It's going to inject the weather in a second. And you should see airplanes start to pop in, in theory. Sometimes it takes a second or two. There we go. Stuff starting to move. There's the wrecks. Airplanes popping in over there. There they are. The oh, wrecks look pretty nice today. And there we go. So, and it puts airplanes in roughly where you'd expect them. This is roughly where the WestJet guys would park, from my knowledge, uh, in this section here. If we go over to next terminal, and especially the international guys, you should see international here, and you'll get the Air Canada guys on this side. So, uh, it does. I don't know how they do it, but it does actually put the parking uh, the airplanes in the right in the right spot. So it's pretty cool. Um, it works, I believe, everywhere, and it's as simple as that, and you'll see them flying. Once you're in sim, you do have a control for it, this FSLTL traffic, and you can choose how many airplanes you want of IFR, VFR, historic park, and stuck removal time, and then the injection radius. So if you don't want it ejecting 100 kilometers away, if you want it just about 60 kilometers away, which is about 30 nautical miles or so, something like that, um, you can change it all here. 
So that's it. That's a short video for today. Again, thank you very much for 2,500 subscribers. I can't believe it. Well, uh, we're going to keep going. I started this back in 2017, uh, back when I never flew, and now I'm I'm, uh, I'm a CFI now. So we've made some progress with the flight sim world and uh, and the real world. And I don't plan on stopping making videos. I just uh, need to find time to make it and what to make. I don't really know what to make. So if you want to give me ideas of anything you want, uh, 172 related, airline related, um, licensing in real life, uh, anything you want, just throw a DCS as well. We've got some cool stuff in DCS coming out F4, uh, F15, new weather and all that stuff. Anything you want, uh, just put a comment down and I'll uh, see if I can have the knowledge to first make the video and secondly, uh, the time to do it. So thank you very much and I'll uh, see you guys in the next one, whenever that may be.